Hello everybody, it's Afrogan and Terminal, thanks for joining me today, and what is up? What is up, you two? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, fantastic year, whatever, um, where you guys live, I hope you guys are busting it out, you know, awesome, it's almost summertime, and I'm happy, I'm very, very happy, finals are almost done, I have probably a few more finals, and I'm, I'm, gra I'm graduating from Texas and then going on to pharmacy school, it's, it's a very pleasant time, and, you know, I thought I'd make a few couple of videos for you guys out there, and, Today we're going to talk about how to convert a 2D image, as you would find on Photoshop, um, as you would have on Photoshop, and convert it into a 3D image using a program called Cinema 4D. So, let's go ahead and get started. You want to go ahead and find an, an image, a 2D image from from a search engine like Google, Bing, or whatever, wherever you might want to find it. And I'm running these two operative. I'm running these two programs on a Windows 8 operating system. It's a fantastic operating system. The kernel improvements alone. Uh, almost guarantee a performance upgrade on every single program that you may have. This, um, you know, it, there have been a lot of complaints about Windows 8 operating systems, but you know, I think the start screen is a perfectly good alternative to the start menu. Um, it, I, I believe it really is, and if 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 you just want this operating system for the kernel improvements alone. You can almost go in and download Classic Shell. I mean, right here, it, it, it's a free program. It's a it's a, it's a fantastic program. It's free. I mean, you you have you have a bunch of options. You can have an XP layout, um, you know, Metro layout or Windows Seven, um, style. Um, and I'll get down to that in in, in, a, in a separate video. I'll upload next week. But let's go in and get started on this. Um, so yeah, let's go and open a Photoshop. You want to go ahead and go to File. You want to go to Open, or you can go to Browse and Bridge. Um, I'm gonna go and open an image I found on Bing just yesterday. Um, it's related to Bungie's uh, superintendent. I think he's a really cool artificial intelligence and found in Halo 3 RDST. He's he's awesome, man. He's I think he's better than Cortana. I mean, you know, he's subtle in this, but yeah, here we go. Let's go and open that up. So. What, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to convert it into a 3D image in Cinema 4D right here. But, um, yeah, so you can see right here, my background, it, it's listed as a background, it's, it's locked, so you want to go ahead and double click that. You want to just go ahead and click OK. Um, and if, if, you're, if you're still having trouble unlocking that or whatever it may be, you want to go ahead and go to, um, oops, wrong thing. You want to go ahead and go to Layer, um, not Layer, you want to go ahead and go to image mode and you want to switch that to rgb color right here if it's index color that's not going to allow you to unlock it so you want to go ahead and switch to rgb color and that should make it perfectly all right now you want to go and take the pen tool right here and you want to go ahead and uh just outline whatever you want um to be converted into 3d image all right so first i'm going to go ahead and start with the i'm going to go ahead and start with the box right here like, I, I can do the circle if I wanted to, but the curving, it takes a lot of precision and, like, accuracy. It takes a lot of time. So just for video's sake, for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and just make a square. All right, so I'm going to take this. Um, just click the pen tool in whatever areas you want to outline, you know, just like that. Um, if you want to curve it, you can. So you just want to make it like that. And you, you can curve it however you wanted to. See, you, you can see I'm curving it right there, but... Um, it, it may take a little time, so make sure you have enough time to finish this when you do start it. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and make it an easy, simple box. Um, like that. I'm going to go and do that. I'll make it curve here so it'll be consistent with this side. Um, there we go. See, as you can see, this takes a lot of time. You want to just, just line it up and connect the dots. See? Now we got that general area on the outside, and you want to work on the eyes, so let's see. Connect it there. I hope you guys aren't bored of me yet, but this does take a little bit of my time, so please be patient with me. Oops, my bad. I'm just going to undo that. Um...
And we have the first die. Now we're working on the second die, which should be a little bit simpler. It's pretty much the same process. Just make sure you get the eyes right, the curvature right, and and voila. Yeah, the eye, this eye's a little messed up, but you know, just whatever. And once you got this down, you want to go ahead and go to File. You want to go to Export. You want to export this as Paths to Illustrator right here. You want to just click OK. This and make sure this path is set to Work Path, not anything else. Um, it should by default it should be on work path, so it should be fine. So click OK, and just save it in place where you can easily find it. I'm gonna save it in my pictures library, and and it should be saved as an AFI file. And I'm just gonna go next to that because I don't need that anymore, and you won't need it anymore either unless you want to make some updates to it. But for right now, I'm just gonna go next to that. So increase the speed on this in forty quite a bit. Um, you want to go to file, open. And you want to go ahead and go to the place where you saved it. So I saved it here, right? So this is my original image file. This is my AFI file, which I've edited in Photoshop. It's um, outlined with a pen, so you want to double-click that. And make sure this is set on the scale that you want it to. I have it on one centimeter. You can go ahead and change that to anything you want. Um, and by default, it should be unconnected. Spindles check. Just click OK. And well, there you have it. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's really simple. I mean, just I, I didn't do too much of it, so because um, I was afraid I'd run off longer than I wanted to. So once you have that, you want to go to here. You want to go ahead and do extrude NURBS, and you want to drag your picture file, AFI file, down to the extrude, and see it, it's it's quite three D actually. Just I think it needs a little bit of thickening. So you want to go ahead and um, click on the extrude. You want to go to go down to coordinate or object. You want this right here and moving it. This is the part where it, cle it increases the thickness. So I'm going to just put a default to about 55, and I think that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do that a little more. 70, lucky number. And um, if you want to fill it cap, um, it'll be a little more fancier. See, so um, it adds a little 3D tidbit on the outside of the image right there. Um, I think it's a pretty nice effect, and you can increase it if you want to, 5 centimeters or up and down or whatever, but I don't see the need to. Um, and yeah, you can go ahead and go to cameras, you can go ahead and do axonometric, you want to go ahead and gentlemen to get a better view of this 3D image. Uh, where'd it go? It's over here. Get in the middle, baby. Alright. And as you can see, it's a pretty clear 3D image. Um, and if you want to go ahead and add some texture to it, um, you go to going to create, load materials, and you can also go ahead and create your own custom materials or textures, however, whatever you want to do. But I have mine. I have this massive texture file that I can upload. Just list down in the comments if you want. It. I'll I'll post a link to the upload, and you can use it yourself. But it has it has a whole bunch of textures in it. <laughs> um, yeah, massive GFX packs right here, and um, you can go ahead and add any colors you want. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and add, um, I believe it was a blue color, that, we, that was, it was an original, right? So, let's go ahead and go with this nice red evil kind of color, um, should look nice. Let's see how it looks. See, this is for the preview, so. Um, yeah, he looks pretty pissed off, pretty p pissed off piece of block right there, so, you know, <laughs> And you can go ahead and switch the cameras around however you want it to look, you know. Um, just you can mess around with this, whatever you may want to do with it. Um, but this is this is the, like the simplest way to um, to convert a two D image into a three D image in Cinema Four D from Photoshop. And um, you can you know just mess around with this. You can add lights wherever you want to. But for right now, I'm gonna leave it as that. And um, I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. I know there are a lot of videos out there showing the same kind of tutorial, but I want to give my own little um, video about it, you know, just to, so it makes sense. Um, and, you know, if this video helped you at all, please drop a like down below. And if you want to check out more of my videos, um, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll be make, I'll, I'll make sure to upload more, more videos in the summertime and, um, you know, drop a comment down below if you have any questions for me, if you want if you have any criticisms or anything but you know other than that i hope you guys have a swell day have a swell life have a swell summer coming up whatever you guys are doing have a great holiday and um i'll see you guys next week all right i'll
Peace out. Bye.